Hey folks, this is Gray1951, also known as Mike, and I haven't done a video in a long time, and I probably wouldn't have done one now, except that I have a very special guest who's come to visit me. I'd like you to meet a fiend on film himself, Dave Koenig. Oh, Hello, Dave. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Champagne Urbana. Dave Hi. has come up from Georgia to uh, civilization to go hunting for uh, artifacts. So Hunting. 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 For, hunting but for, for DVDs. Yeah, that's what I meant. Artifacts. Oh, yeah. okay. I thought you meant hunting for deer or something. No, 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 no. I know you're hunting for deer. So, uh, I had no idea how tall this man was. I, the first time I looked at him, I thought, I feel like a midget, which I am. I mean, look how small I look compared to Dave. It's just yeah, I get, I get that a lot. Yeah, so. do you? But, we're here. We're here. I, I have to tell you people, I know you guys have been watching Mike's videos. Sometimes. And I've been planning a trip up here for like eight months years. now. Oh. Finally happened. Got up here. You got this. This guy's. It's it's amazing. His collection is so amazing. And oh shucks. His. He likes Barber Steel. You guys know that. He's a big Barber Steel fan. Yeah. If you guys see the wall, the wall is amazing. The pictures, <laughs> the posters. Yeah. It's like I've never seen a collection like that before. It's 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 really really simply unbelievable. I mean, I was I was just totally blown away. Like, I wish I could only have one piece, you know, and he's got like like everything. It's like, it's amazing. Well, I do have a lot of stuff. Uh, we're not doing this in my TV room, which is still not put together, but I have been doing a lot of work on it. Right now we're in my living room, and um, we're just trying to find a place where we get both of us in the frame. Yeah, the and more room. light. Yeah, a little more light, because this camera is very strange. But I'm, I'm, I'm still planning to do a tour of my TV and DVD room mm -hmm. when I finally get it all put together. It's just taking me forever. And I it's mean, impressive. Oh, well, it's shit. impressive. Oh. I'm telling you, it's worth the wait. It's worth the wait. Yeah. Even in the dis disarray that it's in right now. Yeah. <laughs> disarray? No, it's a disarray, right. yes. It's, it's but that's cool disarray. though. Okay. It's just the anticipation. Yeah, so tell me what you've, uh, what, how you've enjoyed your visit here. Do you it's, like Champagne? Champagne is a great town. you got to visit it. It's a nice little... Um, Old town, that a lot of old architecture, a lot of new architecture too. But if you're into that kind of stuff, it's great. Like I am, it's a it's a great um, town. A um, lot of nightlife. I mean, since yeah. it's attached to a college town, Urbana, Urbana, you know, which I didn't know much about until I got here. I mean, I you know, I just know it's like the uh, Roger Ebert's hometown. Home, right? he was hometown. Born, yeah. And um, so that it's it's just like interesting to me because it's got a film history and everything like that. And I was very interested that Mike lived here, so I was like, I really got to see it. You know, I really have to come up here and, and, and check it out. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot a lot of opportunities to get the DVDs. That's what we that's true. We've we're done a lot of stuff. doing for the past couple of days. Yeah, and we're still all done. We have more places to go. So. You know, um, yeah. so I did very well here. I'm very happy about the stuff that I got. I have stuff back at the hotel that I picked up, but we got, we're going to show you some of our stuff today and just to talk about it a little yeah. bit. Stuff. We have stuff. Okay, here's what I found. Uh, so first of all, a couple of CDs. Well, you probably, actually, we went to a we went to a flea market yesterday, a place yes. called Gordyville, which is not a town. It's just kind of a collection of buildings way out in the country, in the middle of nowhere. In the middle of nowhere. He means that. Now, yeah. if you're not familiar with the state of <laughs> Illinois, which I'm not, and this is the first time, it's um, winter. It's getting at the end of winter time, so the farm country is just wiped out because they cut everything down. They, Right to redo the land or whatever. Get plan. And when you're driving in, it's just like a couple hundred miles of flat. It's just flat. It's yeah. the flattest thing I've ever seen. I've never seen. It. I've come from mountainous areas and hilly areas. I was. It was amazing. It was amazing. And even just going out of this town a little bit. I live in farm country back in Georgia. It's not like this. This is crazy. Mm -hmm. It's just it's just like, you know, you're just driving for miles and it's desolate. It just looks like desolate, you know, but... See, I'm freaking out when he's reacting like this because to me it's all normal. I just don't know anything else. It's just home. It's the way everything looks. Yeah, it's, it's, but, it's, yeah. A, it's amazing. Yeah. It's something different to see. It's called Prairie. Prairie, Dave. Prairie. yeah. Flat. Yeah. It's flat. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so anyway, and the weather has been lousy. Oh, it's terrible. I mean, it's been, yeah, it's supposed to be, well, they promised it was going to be warm this week, and it's not. So they were even talking yeah. about snow. But that's all right. No matter. Yeah, we just put our coats on and it's fine. Okay. Uh, so we went to a flea market yesterday. We looked for CDs, and I found this very ancient thing by the Marquettes, surf music, if any of you remember that from the 1960s. And I got one uh, by Stevie Nicks called Rock a Little, which I've been trying to find. And uh, what else did I buy? 
Okay. Did I buy all these at the flea market? I didn't. You bought this at the flea market. Okay. Yeah. I bought uh, Oliver Stone's The Doors, which I've never seen, and I bought this old TV show, this old western called The Range Rider, which probably none of you ever heard of. But what the hell? It was like a dollar or something like yeah. that. Yeah. So that was kind of funny. And then we've started. We've started going to. Um, some of the family video stores because Dave said they had a lot, which I've never been in. Yeah, in my I life. heard from my friend uh, Jeremy that lives in Illinois all about this family video chain that they always have great secondhand uh, videos and stuff like that, and mm -hmm. it's it's true, it's yeah. true. So there's a million locations here in this area, and they're all over like the north, not the northeast, but like in the northern part of the country. So there's mm -hmm. plenty of them. And we have uh, check here. it out, take a look, and because there's like a list. Of locations in every state and it's definitely worth it if you want to get some good more recent stuff cheap you know it's yep. cool so that's what I'm doing uh, I bought Argo another film I've never seen this is one I've been actually been looking for and I think it was Dave who told me yeah, about it's, it's called Stoker it's supposed it's to be a very good horror film, film. Unbelievable. yeah and here's Scream which I have Scream never four, yeah. sorry never seen. and it's oh it's, it's Scream 4 one, yes oh I thought it was Scream 1 no, that okay. definitely, you won't find that in the store. You right. have to get that somewhere else, but Sorry. that's a good film. Scream 4, I wasn't aware. Here's one of the midnight movies that I did not have. And he scored uh, big, because this one's Stranger totally Vegas. out of print. Yeah. I do have Invaders from Mars. I have that on like a, a single yeah. um, feature, but I'm, I didn't have Strange Invaders. So. And uh, James Higgins, you recommended a movie called Blackwater Vampire, and I found that at one of the family videos. I also got this thing called, which I've never heard of, a thing called Cornered. Have, Looks like a very violent film, and the only reason I bought this it has an actor named James James Duvall in it, who was the uh, yeah he played cool. he played the rabbit in Donnie Darko, and he's a very interesting actor. So, uh, also, this is a film called Intruders. I don't know why I bought this; it just kind of intrigued me the cover. And also, James, I found this Muppet. Well, it's kind of a Jim Henson thing. What is that called? It says Emmett Otter's Jug Band Christmas. Yeah. Okay. So I bought this uh, sort of a Muppet thing, and. Anyway, once again, inspired by James. Okay, so we also went to a local bookstore uh, called Jane Addams Bookstore in downtown, which has literally, what, three floors? Yeah, and three floors books. 600 million books in it. And Dave didn't find a single thing that he wanted, but I did find this, uh, this book of the films of Woody Allen. As you know, I'm yeah. a big Woody Allen fan, so happy. Because I was telling him, I used to sell that book in my store. It's like, I used to guy, I had it yeah. a couple times, and it's a good book to get. So, basically, I bought, I bought so many DVDs since on my way up, but today and a lot of it I left at the hotel. But the stuff that I got today, I will show you what um, got. And a couple of it's based on what I talked about, Mike. I asked um, him about this movie Howl. Yeah. Okay, with um, James James Franco. Recently, I watched um, Kill Your Darlings, which is also about Allen Ginsberg. And this is about Allen Ginsberg and um, I guess the trial at the time. Yeah, the obscenity um, trial in the 1950s. So, mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to seeing that. I think I watched a couple of minutes of it previously, and I'm just going to get around. Hope like I also it. very happily found Giallo, the Dario Argento movie from 2009. I know I've seen it before. It's not the best one, but I'm glad to have it. It was like you know, two bucks. Really? Um, I have this movie. It's called Return. This is one of the most depressing movies you're going to see. Um, <laughs> it's about a woman. She comes back from Iraq or Afghanistan, and she just cannot adjust to civilian life I and mean, she ends up, you know, doing a lot of bad things and mm -hmm. but um it's uh Linda Cardelli. Linda Cardelli. Cardelli. Is that Cardelli. her name? Yeah. Cardelli. Um, mm -hmm. it's an excellent movie. Definitely check this one out. It's a great independent film. That's I also impressive. picked up I got their business card in here. Because uh -oh. I wanted to picture that later. Uh let's see. This movie called um Ram Ram Rambach. Berlin Undead. I heard about this one a few years ago. Um, it's on Bloody Disgusting Selects. So I heard this one's good. It's a German film. It's a German like um, zombie film that um, it's supposed to be good. Film. I'm not really into the um, zombie films anymore too much, but and somehow they had a copy of the original movie The Gate from 1987. Um, this is with the, the newer cover, the crappy cover on it and stuff. But um, this movie. Yeah, from 1987, classic horror film. Two kids, the tree falls over the background, you open the gate to hell and everything. It's pretty cool. A lot of people like that one. Uh, what else did I get in here in this bag? 
I got, we went to a, <coughs> went to one of the pawn shops I went to, had one of the best selections of secondhand Blu-rays I've ever seen in any pawn shop, because still, Blu-ray market is still kind of new for secondhand stuff. So I was able to get the thing, the original thing, well not the original thing, the remake, mm -hmm. um, for four dollars. It's a, that's good. I had I had to get it, even though I had the DVD, and I also got Aliens for four dollars. Amazing. And I also could have passed up for a buck a piece. Got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles one, two. two. I was gonna get three, but three's not good. These these two are good. So I also picked up a movie called Portraits. What is that? Chin Chinos Chinos, Chinos um, with Helen um, Bonham Carter. I remember in my New York days. I used to see this movie, like, you know, it'd be like in the Village Voice or whatever, and I don't know much about it, but it was a buck, and I might as well check that one out, right? And what else did we get here? We got a lot of movies. Um, it was a good day. Oh, I know what I picked up. I've been meaning to see this for years, and so we got a copy of The Deer Hunter from 1978, I believe. Yeah, um, 78. Yeah, I think that's what it says back here. I can barely see it anymore with these glasses. But yeah, so I'm definitely going to be checking that out. Mm -hmm. Got a lot of movies. It was like pretty, pretty amazing. Um, I'll probably post these all up on a Facebook page later. Yeah. We also went to a place called Record Swap, which uh, of course sells used records and CDs. Um, but they also sell DVDs too. So here's their little. There's a little store bag, isn't that cute? So I bought, let's see, this uh, British what version. What exactly uh, is that one? Is that an, what, the turn of the screw? Is that, was that like a TV one? Oh yeah, it is, Dan Curtis. Yeah, yeah. Oh wow, I didn't uh -huh. know that. This is uh, another version of Henry James' The Turn of the Screw, which of course was very famously made in 1961 as The Innocent, starring Deborah Carr, but I've never seen this version and I'm anxious to see it. Yeah, I didn't even know that. Yeah. I didn't even know what you had there. For Another Midnight Movies uh, edition I didn't have. The Thing with Two Heads, starring uh, Rosie Greer and oh. Ray Land. That's got to be Ooh. freaky. Yeah, pain, really. the pain. <laughs> this is a movie uh, directed by John Cassavetes in 1962, or 63, one of yeah. the two. It's called A Child is Waiting. It stars Burt Lancaster and Judy Garland. And it's got a very plain cover on it, and I asked the guy, I don't know anything about this, uh, this particular um we think it's a bootleg. Yeah, but I don't really care because there's no other way to find the movie, so I'm very yeah. happy to have it. But then again, it's a very nice looking bootleg if it is. It is. I, mean, I like that cover. Clean. It's very cool. So I'm anxious, anxious to see it. This is a film called Beckett, starring uh, Richard Burton and Peter O'Toole, which is a very wonderful historical British when, film. When year did that come out? Uh, Beckett came out in 1964, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so it's a very good movie, and I, I've wanted to find this for a long time, and, and I think it's kind of out of print, but very happy to have it. And finally, I got this movie called Pulse, which is um, a fairly recent American-made horror film that has something to do with spirits coming through electrical outlets or some nonsense like that. Not to be confused with another uh, very famous Japanese classic film called Pulse, which is um, supposedly much better. But anyway... I just thought I'd try this out. So that's that's pretty much the extent of what yeah, I we got. Yeah, we got it. I did very well, and I know he did well too. He's been, he bought a lot of movies. A lot of movies. And, you know, I'm just like uh, very happy with everything I got because I've been looking for new stuff and everything and piles of stuff. And back at the hotel, I got piles of stuff from Nashville and, and other places. So, mm -hmm. and then my next, uh, and tomorrow morning, I'll be leaving to go to Chattanooga and go see my friend Cody. Cody, what's up? If you're watching this, but um, I'll be hitting tons of places on the way, and hopefully get some more video DVDs or whatever. You know, maybe some books. I was really lacking on the book thing this time. I mean, it's just yeah. I don't know. We'll see. You know, I get too many too many books as it is. <laughs> it's just we've got too we got too many of everything as it is. Too, too many, too much. Yeah, running so out of room. Running out of room. Yeah, yeah. but. Yeah, I, I, you guys, when he gets the TV room done, oh. when you get to see this, oh yeah, my goodness, you got to see that the, the, all the artwork and everything is amazing, you know, different uh, movie posters and stuff, you know. Well, thank you. And I he's got a Barbra Steele poster, picture over here that I've never seen before, it's, you know, it's pretty amazing. Oh, the one on the wall up here? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. I mean, I've never seen that before. Yeah. I've seen a lot she, of pictures, but... She's all over the house. I don't want to tell you. It's, yeah. You know, it's, it's real obsession. So, 
Um, in my TV room right now, I, I put together another set of shelves that I bought at Best Buy, and I was putting together another one when I kind of ran out of time, and so they're all over the floor, and, and Dave was kind of stepping around and trying not to break them, so yeah. I, I'm trying to get everything done. There, there's still a lot of stuff to do. But he's got a good DVD collection, a solid DVD collection, very, very solid, different titles, different genres and everything that it's like you know it's just it's impressive to see you know we, we're, we're film nerds so we like to go look at that kind of stuff you know yeah I know. well i mean we all have certain things we like and certain people and directors that we collect and um what what's classy for some people is not necessarily mm. classic and important to others but i have a nice little shelf of criterion collection which i'm very proud of and yeah, um, yeah. So. i wish i could afford that i don't know where he gets his money but uh, well, I do nothing but work. That's where I get my money. That's why I have a 10-year-old car that has 53,000 53, miles on it because all I do is drive back and forth to work. So that's I have crazy. to be on vacation this week and I'm doing that's something crazy. else. So. Wow. Yeah, that's my life. Work and, and money. But <laughs> So that's, that's basically it in a nutshell. Mike, like I find out here, it's cool. I mean, I, I, he's showing me the whole, his whole house and it's just, it's amazing. So what I was telling him, I said, you know, you know, if you're, and I did this last year with my friend Cody and I said, so if you actually get to meet somebody that's on YouTube, do a video together, you know, find out about what they're, they're about, you know, more about what they're about and everything. Yeah. It's really cool. Um, he showed me the house. I mean, you could see, like, over there, he's got the, you know, if we're, we're in a different thing, I mean, there's a lot of lamps over there, the clock's over there, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's, the famous clock in it's my just, videos. Yeah. It's just crazy, you get yeah. to come here and see it in person, you know, it's just it's just wild, you know. And af after we shut off the camera, I'm taking Dave into the basement, I'm going to show him the bodies that I have in the crawl space, so he's I really excited about that. I being a body, that's, that, that's what I'm scared of, you know. Mm -hmm. You never. I do you have plans for the rest of the week, but yeah, it might did. make it canceled. You did, so <laughs> Cody, if he doesn't show up, you have to... Come to my well, I got plans for him too. We'll find out about that later. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. That's getting interesting now, bud. Yeah. All right. We've also been eating well. I took him to a couple of my favorite restaurants, so that was kind yeah. of fun. Yeah. It's it's a, it's a great town. It really is. It's oh, I was like impressed. It. I was very impressed. Yeah. And um, like I just said, I can't believe it's in the middle of farmland, like desolate land. Desolate yeah, land. yeah, yeah. It's, Come it's on. Definitely, it's a very, very interesting place. Yeah. Come on, Midwesterners. Now tell them that flat land is normal. That's the way it's supposed to be. So. Yeah, so. Yeah. Okay. All right. Is that it? Are we yeah, done? I guess that's it. Okay. Yeah. Well, as usual, comments are welcome. You can tell us that we're both insane or the, something like yeah, that. Yeah, we're totally nuts. nuts. Yeah. So, we're not comments done. below, you know. We're not done shopping yet. We're going to go out and do some more stuff now. So. <laughs> oh my God. Do we have any money left? I don't. Uh oh. I'm okay. broke. We'll go to the ATM. All right. Okay. Thanks for watching, folks. See you All later. Right,